Hello again, grade 11. Begin to do more sorting to revise yesterday's work. This button over here, we're going to sort ARR num from largest to smallest and display it with the correct name from AR names. Now remember we have the three parallel arrays and they are defined at the top here. And make you dizzy scrolling up. There they are, error lines, error names, and error num. We've got to, we've got to, um, we have to uh, sort error num from largest to smallest and display it with the correct name from error names. Now, okay, we don't have to sort error lines as well. They only want us to display the names from error names with error num. So we're going to sort error num again, like we did before. Now, remember, we used two for loop counters. need a temporary variable for our ARR num, which was ARR num is an array of integers, and another temporary variable for ARR names, which is an array of strings. So as you see, I've got my two temporary variables, and I'll use my for loops for k equals 1 to the number of boxes of the array minus 1. And then we say for L equals K plus 1 to the number of boxes to the last box, I can't error R, do, and then we say begin and end. And then we have our if statement. If error num, remember we're sorting error num, K from largest to small, if it's, if it's less than error num box number L, a very important step there. If error num k is less than error num l, then we're going to do a begin and end and swap. The swap algorithm, we're going to first swap error num. So error num box number k equals error num box number l. Let me say error num box number L equals our temp. And now we're going to swap the other array. Is temp equals error names box number K. So we get is temp equal to the one box error names box number K. And then we say error names box number K will be equal to error names box number L. Let me say error names box number L be equal to S temp. And that's it, that's your sorting algorithm done. If you want it from the lowest to the, to the greatest, then you use greater than. If you want it from greatest to lowest, then we use the less than, if we use K and L in this order. Right, so we sorted it, now all we have to do is display both the arrays. For K equals 1 to R count error R. Let me say red arrays dot lines dot add. First, going to put in the the integer into string error num box number k. This is after we've sorted it. And using the for loop with k count, I can. And then we're going to join that to a space. Our names box number K and we'll have the correct order because we sorted both the arrays. Take note I didn't worry about sorting arrow lines because they didn't ask us to display anything from arrow lines there. Okay so you just remember the sorting algorithm and if you have parallel arrays you need to include a swap you need to swap the other array as well. If you don't have parallel arrays, you don't have to do the second swapping algorithm there. And take note that happens between begin and end in the if statement. Right, so let's go and see what happens. Now remember with this program we first have to read all the lines into error lines and into error names and read all the numbers into error num. Okay, and there we have it. And we already did the code for this one. 
don't have to click it, but yeah, I'm sorting Aaron Lam from largest to smallest, and there it is. And it's all perfectly correct. Okay, I don't know what those numbers mean, but it's all about golfing. <laughs> Maybe you would know. Okay, so that's it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Do the activity for marks. <laughs>